It's the splash of colors that have been part of New York's landscape for decades. But while graffiti used to be seen as a symbol of vandalism and disarray, it has now emerged as a vital art form, with businesses sponsoring vibrant murals and works even being featured in museums and galleries. And with tours and workshops now available to all, we decided to give it our best shake. I have faith in them that they'll be able to use the spray paint. So as long as their nails are not too long, we should be able to spray this can. We met graffiti artist Alex Santos in Bushwick, Brooklyn. You know what's funny? People, when they think of graffiti, they think like a can of paint, shake it up, write something. This is the opposite of that. This is a real art form. It's a, a form of self-expression. There's no wrong way to express yourself. Graffiti, you say, actually, was a healing force for you. Yes, so growing up, it was either join the gangs in the streets or escape with the art crew, and it was more that my realm because I had the talent. Who was the first person who said, Alex, you got something? My mom. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Alex was raised by a single mom in the Bronx. We heard that she used to check your backpack to make sure you didn't have paint sometimes. Yeah, usually I had the bag shaken up and I was trying to sneak out that house and go express myself. Yeah. And she tried to force me to just keep it in the books. But by the way, now what does she think? <laughs> yeah. Well, she's actually very surprised that I have my dream job. Today, Alex is an art instructor and street tour guide for Graph Tours, which allows visitors to try graffiti for themselves. But the coolest thing is you are living your dream. Yes. You're a working artist. What does it feel like? Uh, it's amazing to show people the different perspective of the graffiti because the common misconception yeah. is we're just vandals destroying yeah. the, the world, destroying the community, but depending on the picture you put and how you paint it, you can be building the community. And then Alex did his best to turn us into graffiti artists. Hoda and Jenna need to know how to just express themselves. We should be able to come up with a, a masterpiece at the end of the time we have. Is that a cartoon? Is that a dog? Wait, you just did Snoopy? Snoopy! With Hoda. Amazing. Hoda and Jenna actually surprised me. They actually pulled out a Snoopy out of nowhere. That was pretty cool. Clean lines. Okay. That was that Amazing. Good. Try it. Try it. It's harder okay. than it looks. You got it. There you did, right away. I'm kind of into it. He taught us How the basics of spraying. Same distance. Yes. Yes. Clean. She's good. It's still legible. Now we fill it in. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> then we got started on our masterpiece. Stay inside the lines, just like a coloring book. How about this? No? Yes, nice and fast. It shouldn't take oh, too fast. long on Stop one letter. Stop waiting. Stop waiting. Might drip a little, but that's part of it, right? That's part of the part of the graffiti. As we learned, the secret is just to use the right amount of paint. What about the drip? You like a drip? I like a drip. And we don't like the drip. It could make the piece look a little bit messy, but if that's a style you're going for, then there's nothing wrong with it. It's about expressing yourself. She probably wanted to be a little drippy. It's fine. Drippy drip. Hoda uses the perfect amount of paint. I don't mind the drip. You do today. Okay, but I don't want it to be too drippy. Just light. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Further there away. You go. It spreads Further the paint away. evenly. Yes. Let's go, Mama. Less is more. Less is more. Yes, you got more. it. There you go. Less yes is, is more. more. I grade out of like one to ten. I'd probably give Hoda and Jenna like a seven and a half, maybe. There's some things we could have sped up on or slowed down on. We had fun. Can we just thank Alex for we trying to help us, Santos? Trying, From yes. From craft tours for having us. And under this drape is our graffiti mural. We have to admit. We haven't seen the final product. No, but we will say Alex put some finishing touches. He did. We did part of it, and he did the rest of it. Shall All right. we reveal? Drum roll, please. Let's see what Alex has done. One, two, two three. three. Oh. Oh, my gosh. How cool is this? Wait. Was it? Is this for? Is this the one we started? That is awesome. He, Alex is an artist. Are we going to hang this somewhere? We have to. In our offices. Oh, we're talking we gotta about it. We got to put it somewhere. We sh um, yeah. and, I'll, and, I'll, and you know, we need to mention that making yeah. graffiti on somebody else's property is illegal in New York City. Don't do it. So if you're interested in giving it a try, do it like ours in the a way we did it. Area.